All right. Think back to your high school days. That was a long time ago for me. Your prom. For some teens, attending prom is a rite of passage. Fancy gowns, tuxedos, high heels. It also may be the first time you actually dress up in a formal wear. Well, the NYPD sponsored program, a program called Prom Impact, which is helping outfit local students for their big night. And with us this morning is a woman who has been making it all happen since 2016, Detective Tanya Duhaney. Thanks so much. And we also have two students who benefited from the Prom Impact events. We have Carissa Lomax and Sarah Zayden. Thanks so much for being with us, guys. Thank you for of course, us. thank you for having us. First of all, let me say happy International Women's Day and to tell our viewers that you actually were recognized last year as one of Pix 11's Remarkable Women. You were yes. one of the finalists, so congratulations to you thank on that. Thank you, and you also. But first, let's talk about um, Prom Impact. What is the program all about? The program is basically about helping young women and men um, in underserved communities or just families that need prom or graduation that's higher. So we're there to help them achieve that goal by getting them prom dresses, suits, ties, shoes, whatever is needed. Yeah, because like we said, it's a rite of passage for a lot, mm -hmm. of, a lot of young women and young men. And you think about all the things they need to get done. Nails, hair, everything. Lashes. And that's a lot of lashes. <laughs> it costs a lot of money. Yes, yes. And it's a stress for parents too, right? It is. Yeah. Big stress. Yeah. So let's talk to the two ladies here. <laughs> Uh, what was the what was the program like for you? And tell us about the experience. It was amazing because you just don't go in and get a prom dress. You get a bag, you get other accessories, and then at the end you get to walk down the red carpet. So that was just extra special. Carissa, let's look at you in your dress. Do we have the picture of Sarah? Or Kara? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, what was that like to be able to be dressed so elegantly. You look like you're going to the Oscars. I know. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I feel, it, was a, it was a great experience because it's like I know other girls don't have the opportunity and also guys who don't have the opportunity to mm -hmm. go to prom because they may not have the funding. But I was extremely like privileged and grateful to Detective Tanya that she was able to provide me with a dress, shoes, and all the other accessories that I needed. Chrissy, you look beautiful. And Sarah, Thank you. Same experience for you. Talk about what it was like. I mean, I'm sure there was that nervous feeling, like, how am I going to get the dress? How am I going to get all these things for prom? I mean, honestly, I didn't really know about the program beforehand. So mm -hmm. once I discovered it and, like, the setting was beautiful, and I was just like, I didn't know what I wanted. Like, I'm a very indecisive person. We so. have a photo of you. There you <laughs> are. <laughs> you. Um, yeah, like, I was... Um, like extremely like indecisive and then once I found that dress I was like I loved it I like and the thing is um, prom dresses are not cheap and yeah. it's just like since I was able to find one I was like thank you like I I don't know what happened to me that day but I was like thank you and like Tanya was very supportive and like it was an amazing experience for me in general why do you two believe that this is such a, an important program to have um, I feel like it's important because, like I said, not everybody has the opportunity to go to prom. Mm -hmm. And then it's like to get all these things and access for free. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to worry your parents about, oh, I don't have this, oh, I don't have that. So it's just for stuff to be given to you, that's a blessing. Yeah. I mean, I know as a parent, that's one of the things that I'm worried about. How, how much does this help out your family? Um, well... My mom did not have spent a lot of money in um, dresses. Like, college tuition is already big yes, as it is. Yes, college yes, tuition is already yeah. big as it is. And prom is supposed to be this fun experience. So, like, the stress of having to worry, what are you going to wear? Are you going to look good? Like, this and this and that. It just, like, you know, that's something I felt. But then once I was just, like, you know, I have this great dress in front of me. And, yeah. you know, I got it for free. It's just, like, it's just amazing. Like, and... If I had to go back, I would do it all over again. Oh, I'm too. sure. Like, okay. Detective Jahidi, you remember your prom? Oh, yes. <laughs> I think we have a picture. <laughs> Let's take a look. Look at you. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. It is a magical moment, though, it's isn't it? It's very magical. How many, how many young men and women do you help every year in this project? Uh, usually um, about 500. 
for each one. Last year, we had 700 plus dresses gone. Be wow. <laughs> gone. Yeah. So I have to start from scratch this year. Oh, wow. It is important to mention, though, like we were saying, it's young women mm -hmm. and young men. Tell and us about men. the treatment that the young men get then, Oh, too. well, that's Sergeant Clark. You know Sergeant <laughs> Clark. Sergeant Clark does ties. We get shoes donated. Um, and we definitely got to thank our police foundation because they help out with a lot with prom impact as far as purchasing the racks because we don't want to have dresses on tables or no we make it look like a boutique and we make it beautiful for everyone yeah because you don't just walk in like you look at this you don't just walk in and it's just stuff like you said laying around it's like you walk into into a boutique is that what it's like yes no. i mean when i first walked in i was like whoa like, that was my first <laughs> instant i was just like i once again, I've never did this before. My mom told me about it. She was just like, yeah. oh, Sarah, like, let's go check it out. Because I was still, like, very, like I said. We have a couple of dresses that were yeah. donated. Uh, De uh, Detective Duhaney, tell, tell the folks at home how they can help out and, and donate. What okay, you um, if anyone's looking to donate, we have two drop-off sites. And we also have one police plaza, Community Affairs Bureau, if you want to drop off dresses. But I can also pick up dresses, so it's not a problem. Yeah, so it's dresses. Up. What else do you need? Dresses, shoes, jewelry, um, handbags, and brand new makeup for yeah. our young ladies. And stuff for the guys as well. And the guys as well. Their really, ties. Yeah, really wonderful work that you're doing. And thanks so much Thank for being you. on the show with us Thank this morning. You. Um, the, the 8th Annual NYPD Prom Impact will take place on Saturday, May 6th in Queens and Saturday, May 13th in the Bronx. And we will have all the particulars on donating and also participating on our website, pix11.com.